guys, it's Amy again. Um, yeah, you're probably wondering why Amy's wearing a long sleeve shirt, and that's because it's fucking freezing cold in here. I've had the AC behind me right over there on all practically all day, and earlier today I did go outside because I was just freezing my ass off <laughs> because I was in the house practically all day and I didn't get up until about maybe 1 p.m. or something but um I was freezing my butt off and all I had was like my tank top and these pair of fleece shorts I think they're over there on the edge of the bed under my purse somewhere and I was just freezing my ass off and this is a pretty thick comforter on my bedding so or my bedspread and I was still just freezing my butt off so I even got up up in the middle of the night and turned the ceiling fan off and then just had the AC and the window running and it still was just completely freezing cold but um I was like that's it I have to have my also oh warm and cuddly loving this is like one of my favorite sleep shirts I have a white version of this too a white one and then um you can't see them but I have some army sleep pants on also so that's how cold it was in this room but anyways um how are you guys doing uh if you hear some kind of weird noise or something uh through the wall it's my brother he has some how should we say it female company over there and if you hear any noises I apologize ahead of time for anything that's happening they do have the TV really loud but it's kind of hard to tell what exactly they're doing over there so and it is pretty late at night it is probably around 1230 or midnight 30 minutes after midnight on a Monday <laughs> so it's pretty weird um it goes to show you how bored I was today. When I did wake up, I did not watch TV or anything. I pretty much just checked all my YouTube stuff and my emails and etc. etc. And then this is how bored I was. I did my nails. And these are fake nails. And if you can't tell, there's like some kind of tribal intention on them. But I'm as close as I can. I don't think it'll focus. <laughs> but they are very pretty. <laughs> and they're supposed to change colors and I'm having problems with this thumbnail right here it's already loose and it took like forever for the glue to stick and that's why I really hate the um, nail glue that comes with the packaging um I would get the package for you but I really just don't think it's worth it um, I just happen to be digging through one of my three drawers and my organizer right here off to the left and um, I just like happened to find an unopened and unused set of nails and I was like hey it's been a while I'm off for three days why not let's just go ahead and put some nails on I really do like them but I'm expecting most of them to break off within the next two days because there's no way in hell I would wear these knockoff nails at work because I know for a fact they would just chip off one after another and then if at least two of them chipped off it feels so awkward having just three nails or something on one hand and so I would just peel them all off one by one and that's just a huge waste of nails and a huge waste of money so I will not wear long nails unless they're professionally done and it's by a place that I actually trust. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this one place that's just down the street or uh, a few blocks away from where I work in the next town over and a lot of people are saying that the women there actually do a really good job so I'm thinking about maybe going over there but I don't have the money so it's <laughs> hint why I'm using my computer camera instead of a different camera. I would use the camera on my iPod Touch or on my phone, but it just never clicked to me to do something outside, and plus I was all sweaty and mm, it looked like I was in a gym, and I just really didn't feel like doing a video outside while I was walking, because that's how hot it was. Oh my god, it was so humid, and not one whiff of air or even any kind of wind or breeze was blowing outside the entire hour and 20 minutes I took a walk down the road that way and back for about a good a little more than a quarter of a mile ish I took a good little jog or a walk down there and it took about an hour and 20 minutes to get there and back and no wind whatsoever but it was humid as hell and I think I got outside around 8 not 8 o'clock I think it was like 7 30 ish I mean the sun was still out but the sun was kind of like that really deep 
orange color and it was just starting to set over the horizon so but this is texas hey it doesn't you really don't know my hair's just freaking ugh, it's just really driving me nuts right now so my hair's kind of got that bent in it because i had it in a ponytail while i was walking so it's just kind of annoying the crap out of me but um uh i did tell you guys last video that i did get my hair cut so i have long layers in it and it's really hard to do i can't put it in a low ponytail or else all my bangs fall out so that just just irritates the living shit out of me and i don't like it but um anyways that's what i've been doing recently and i'm going to try my hardest to make this a very very short video what i wanted to do was um review some new stuff that I got on and it's from the Clinique collection. I recently a few uh, days ago went to the Bell store to get uh, some replacement stuff for my Clinique collection which I have right behind me. I did do a previous video but it was like 25 minutes long and it was just way too long so I just wanted to make a shorter uh, new video and this is my Clinique system two out of three of them anyway. Uh, the third one's behind me and I'll show it later. And these are the two things I have. This is the new one that I have. This is the soap for dry combination skin and it's normally for dr very dry to dry combination skin. I don't have dry combination skin. I really have dry skin but I really do like the clinic system. Uh, it doesn't have very strong odors or smells. I was using Aveeno uh, redness cleanser the foam cleanser and after a while it did work but then as i started using it more and more uh, after the second week and the third week it started actually making my face really dry and itchy and just irritated my skin and i do have very very sensitive skin so i switched to clinique a lot more cheaper than aveeno oh my god i paid like half for this that i do usually aveeno and this is the liquid face soap in mild and the little goes a long way and it has a pump which is locked right now and then my cat was kind of gnawing on the end of it while i was washing my face my new kitty coco like got up right there on the uh countertop by the sink and she stayed there and was messing around and all my stuff and watching me the entire time that i washed my face that i brushed my teeth and i was flossing the whole time she was standing right there i don't even think that was sanitary but curiosity killed the cat I think it's a miracle she hasn't died yet, which is great. I mean, she's only about 10 or 11 weeks old, but man, she is growing so bad. I mean, she's a good chunk size. I mean, she's literally like this big. If I cupped her, it'd be like this. She'd be like cradled in my hand. That's how big she is. And she's getting a little bit better. She's getting more familiar with me. She likes me, and she's okay with my dad if he doesn't try to pet her. You know, if he's just sitting there on his couch or on his chair in the recliner just doing his thing, watching TV or on the computer or whatever, then she'll come around to him, but she won't let anybody let me pet her. And she's terrified of David. Oh, my God, if David catches her again, she's going to literally claw the shit out of him. I just know it. But anyway, back to the Clinique stuff. Um, that's the liquid soap to it, but unfortunately I didn't use that. Um, that's what I usually use normal basis, but tonight I actually use this. It's the St. Ives Naturally Clear Green Tea Scrub. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can really tell. And it's actually really good. And if you look at the little dollop that's right there on the front, that's exactly what it looks like. I will put it in my hand and show it to you what it looks like and everything. But um, I just got through washing my face, like I said. So I really don't feel like it. It actually smells really, really good. It's like a very subtle kind of... Uh, it smells a little bit like ointment, like in a good way, not in a bad way. A little bit like ointment with a little bit of fresh hot brewed tea into it. And I love the smell of hot tea. Oh my God. It's one of my favorite calming things to do. Sometimes like tonight, I've had like five glasses of cold tea, but I love making a nice little cup of hot tea and then putting just a little bit of sweet and low in it. And then maybe putting one of those little, uh, instant creamer cups into it and then just stirring it all together oh, is amazing. My dad recently got some blackberry tea. Lord have mercy. That stuff was so good. So soothing and so relaxing. And it's just a hundred times better. I know 
you people probably think, oh, but it's tea, it'll stain your teeth, and this, and this, and this. Well, guess what? Tea and coffee in the right amounts are actually a lot smarter beverages to drink than who knows God what's in most Cokes and sodas next to water itself. So flavored waters, coffee, or tea, depending how strong you make it, the stronger the tea, yes, it's not good for you, and there's a certain amount of caffeine you can't have. But hot tea is very, very calming, very soothing, especially blackberry teas, green teas, peach teas, they're all the best teas in the world, and I highly recommend them, so you guys should really get some and try it yourself. But anyways, um, the green tea scrub, normally the scrub is actually very, very chunky. I think I have some more scrub back here. <laughs> Let me see. This is my new bag that it came with. Um, and I will be getting to this here in just a quick sec, uh, moving onward. I do have this little travel size uh, St. Ives apricot invigorating scrub. And this is what it looks like. And it smells like apricots, but this one's a lot chunkier. So I usually use this in very small amounts. Like I literally use just like my middle finger size, which is probably about the width of a dime size amount of the apricot one because it's so chunky. It's got apricot pieces in it. It's got apricot seeds in it. And it's really good for your skin, but my skin's so sensitive. And this is just too abrasive for my face. So it was just a sampler that I got. So then as I was in work one day, I saw that they had this scrub. And I was like, hmm, wouldn't hurt to buy it. I bought this for about $5 with my discount, I think. And the green tea scrub is actually like instead of having chunks in it as a scrub, it's got more like a sort of the consistency of a like salt. Uh, uh, not sodium salt, but kind of like fresh sea salt or like uh, fresh fresh uh, cane sugar, that kind of PC feel, but it's not chunky. It's very, very finely grated and it's not so abrasive on my cheeks, especially my cheeks because my cheeks are the most sensitive part of my face. So when I use this, it does what it needs to. It exfoliates and gets all the dead skin off. It gets into my pores and everything. and. Uh, treats the redness but it's not so abrasive that it hurts my skin and damages it so i really really love this so if you do have sensitive skin like me i highly recommend getting saint ives uh, green tea scrub and it smells really good it's very calming so it's almost got the same a calming effect as lavender only it's not so strong it's got that little tea smell into it with the, uh, some other stuff into it but i use that tonight because i think it's very important in my daily video my daily uh face washing video, sorry, <laughs> that uh, most of the time during the week you need to have a cleanser, but you also need to have a scrub because cleansers will be able to get uh, most of the surface debris on your face, but the scrub is what's going to get deeper and really impact into it, which brings me to my next product. This is the toner slash clarifying uh, substance or clarifying lotion is what it's called for dry combination skin and it's see-through and it's also by Clinique and what you do is is you take the top off and you take a cotton ball whatever size cotton ball you have I have some in the bathroom and then I take usually one to two cotton balls because you're supposed to put this all over your face as well as on your chin and neck area so I have to use a second cotton ball for my neck and uh, this will help get all the uh, leftover residue that's deeper into your pores and help open your pores up in order to release all the rest of that uh, dirt and debris and just disgusting stuff that the, both the cleanser or the scrub really couldn't get into. So it goes deeper into the surface of it. And I highly recommend this too, especially if you have sensitive skin. Or if you have really oily skin, then you have no idea how much dirt and just disgusting things can get really trapped in your skin so this clarifying lotion is really going to help pull all those things out and a little goes a long way so just make sure you get it all in your places usually what I do is, is I start in my forehead area and usually my t-zone right here is the worst place and then I just kind of spread it all out on my face and I do my under chin area and then I take it away and then I get another one you have no idea how much 
sweat and debris is on my neck and on my uh, v-neck area and it's very very important to keep those places clean and it's the same thing in the shower I have a separate cleanser I think it's the clean and clear morning burst uh, cleanser in the shower and it works with the steam of the shower and I do the same thing I put it all over my face except for my eyes of course my mouth and then I put it um, under my chin area and it helps get all that debris and then I step out and I use the toner to help uh, vacate it and then the last step that I do in my cleansing product is actually this it's the uh, dramatically different moisturizing lotion and it looks like this it's pretty weird um, that's exactly what it says is dramatically different moisturizing lotion and it's meant for very dry to dry combination skin I hate this lotion I use it but I don't like it because it smells really weird and for some reason no matter how much you put on it just makes my face feel really sticky you know how your face feels when you start to sweat after all the humidity in the air or from doing an exercise or something and you just feel so hot and abrasive and you have to have air on your face in order to dry your sweat and uh, really cool yourself down that's what this moisturizer makes my face feel like it doesn't really moisturize my face but I still use it anyway so it, the only reason why I have this is so I can go with my cleanser and my toner and that's the only reason why but it's okay with keeping moisture in but when you start to sweat or whenever it's really humid outside it's just it just doesn't feel that great I mean I'm sorry I really am but if I could choose not to use this I usually don't or I just put on my uh, Olay complete uh, night cream instead of this and it's a lot better so much for what better <laughs> Uh, I bought uh, some more toner and then some more moisturizer and then they had this thing if you pay $30 or more at Bell's then you get a free bag with some all sorts of little goodies and things inside of it so um, one of the things that I got was a travel size version of the same moisturizer which uh, of course I'm going to probably just keep in there and not use or bother to touch the other thing that I got was a moisture surge extended thirst relief now this is a moisturizer that's kind of in a gel consistency and this is what it looks like it's kind of pink and it smells okay and basically what it says is is that you can use whenever wherever needed under or over makeup or as a five minute moisture mask in other words you can take this literally everywhere with you you can put it in your bag you can use it during the day you can use it when you're having makeup on or when you're not putting makeup on you can do it before or after you can do it in the middle of the day you know especially after all this heat wave that's gone through especially here in town you know it really can be very very helpful so I usually do keep this in my purse every once in a while especially on these past days that have been oh my god between 105 and 108 degrees I definitely definitely want to carry this to work with me even though I'm inside it gets just as much heat especially if we have automatic doors you have no idea how much heat comes in and how much cool air goes out during that time but um i highly recommend this especially if you have very very dry skin this will definitely be a huge difference and a huge helper in making your skin very much more clear and more moisturized so it came with that something else that it came with was uh some makeup products one of them is the different lipstick clinic different lipstick and it looks like this and it's just a random lipstick color this is in the color tender hearted and it's not too bad I don't know if you guys can really see it or not but it's actually kind of looking like it's a brown color on screen but I actually put it on and I'm not gonna swatch it or anything for you but when I put it put a very light layer on my lips I can't put it on right now anyway um, it actually kind of looks like a very light mocha nude color in sort of a way and I actually really like it I actually wore this one time with just like a very nude sort of smoky eye you know like I put um like a beige shimmering uh, base color on and then just put a little bit of satin taupe in my corner to really define my crease and then I wore this and everybody was complimenting me on my face they said my skin looked so amazing I didn't even wear blush or anything like that I just put two eyeshadows on and then a, a layer of this no gloss or anything on top of it 
and everybody was complimenting me on it. And I was like, wow, okay, thank you. So it came with that. Um, another thing that it came with was, if I can find it real quick, here they are. They were behind me the whole time. Uh, it came with this little trio thingamabobber, and it comes with two eyeshadows on the top. This one right here is like a very, very uh, light pastel pink eyeshadow, and then it came with a kind of satin colored uh, brown crease, although I think that's kind of small for it to be a little crease color. And then on the bottom right here where it says Clinique is actually kind of like a very light pink blush. So that was pretty cool to come with that. I've actually used it two or three times and it goes great with the lipstick also. And then the last thing that I got was the Clinique High Impact Mascara in number 11 Brightening Black. And it looks like this. And it actually has a blue tint to it. And oh my god, I've worn this for the past few days, like on and off. Some days I don't wear makeup and sometimes I go very light with it. It's been actually a very long time since I wore heavy makeup. But out of all the looks that I've had, I wore this and oh my god, it makes my eyes look brighter. It makes them look bigger. It makes my lashes look more volumized and fuller. And I was just really amazed with this. I thought it having a blue tint to it, this would really just be like really bad because I don't like putting certain color eyeshadows on my eyes because I have brown eyes. So it's really, really hard to make your eyes look bigger without making them look smaller because I do have small eyes. I put this on with whatever color, if I went natural, if I went high definition or whatever, this mascara looked amazing with it. So this is like my full next amazing stuff. And I'll even show you what the brush looks like real quick. This is what the brush looks like, and it is thick and huge and everything. I don't even know if you can really pick up the blue pigment on it. I'm trying to let the lamp over there kind of shine onto it, but it looks amazing when you put it on, and I love it. You'll definitely tell whenever you use um, your makeup wipes or if you use Vaseline or whatever to take your mascara off. This really does work, and I highly recommend it. And then that is all the stuff that came free with it. Um... I did kind of want to just put in a little tip here and there. Okay, apparently this video is going to be just as long as my other video, but at least I'll look better in it. But um, it's just what it is. Another thing that I've recently been using is an old foundation that I just happened to find in my drawer in my bathroom when I was digging around looking for a hair tie. And I happened to come across this little thing of foundation. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Whipped foundation base in ivory and this is what it looks like and I gotta say I actually really like this I was like hmm whipped foundation and I was like I bet this is just as heavy as any other foundation it kind of smells like oh what's that smell I'm thinking of um smells like fresh fruit of some kind I can't remember which one like vanilla and cantaloupe or vanilla and uh, honeydew, something like that. I think it's more like a cantaloupe smell. I know it's weird, here I am smelling my foundation, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And as you can tell, I've actually used quite a bunch of it, but um, it's very light and airy, and I actually really, really like it, and less is more with this thing. Oh my god, it doesn't take that much at all. Usually, um, with my normal foundation, which is this one, the L'Oreal uh, True Match stuff, and it's uh, in a bottle, it doesn't have a spout or anything, it has a screw top on it, it usually takes a good, like, shaking. That one you don't have to shake, and that one you can build up as much coverage under your eye area, or your nose area, or your cheeks, or wherever you need it to be. This one, it takes forever to build up, and I have to use concealer under it. If I don't use concealer under this, then you can obviously tell where my dark circles and everything are. I love that whipped foundation. And then what really sucks, they don't even sell it in the stores anymore. And I was like, damn, I wanted that so bad. So I'm actually really glad that I found it. Um, but it just really sucks that I can't find it. I'll probably have to go like on covergirl.com and then just look it up and see if I have to order it or maybe go to Verizon or eBay. I mean, not Verizon. Ugh. 
duh, go to Amazon or eBay and see if I can order it through because it just really sucks that they don't sell it anymore. I looked at CVS, I looked at Walgreens, of course, I've looked at Walmart, I've looked at every place that I can think of, even out of town, and they don't have this. And I love this stuff so much, and I was like, oh, I need this bad. But, um, Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what my new stuff was and just add a few little notes here and there. It's probably about four or five minutes longer than the last video I did. But hey, like I said, um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to put everything down below in the comment bar. And I will also put links down below. And I will be talking to you guys very soon. I hope you guys have a great night. Bye.